hello students today we will learn the new concept that is simple interest here before we will go to directly sums there are some important terminology in simple interest that one is first one is principal what is principal any amount lent or borrowed is called principal amount lent or borrowed from one person to another person is called principal it is not depending on the person to person it may be it may be dependent to bank to the person person to the bank or financial institution to the bank anyway next second important term is interest interest the extra money the extra money additional amount that we will pay to the borrower is called interest extra money will be paid to borrower to whom we lend a money that is interest next third one is time period time period the specific time which money is borrowed specific time specific time for which the money is borrowed is called time period it may be years months or days this time period it should be specific specified in terms of years or in terms of months or in terms of days now the next fourth one is simple interest 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 is extra amount simple interest the interest calculated uniformly <coughs> on the original principal throughout specific time uniformly on original principal original principal on specific throughout specific time throughout specific time is called simple interest next rate percent rate percent here normally we will call it as rate percent or rate of interest roi return on investment rate of interest here this is roi is return on investment that is also one type of interest only um, rate percent or rate of interest r percentage rate percentage or rate of interest what is rate of interest we know percentage means 100 out of 100 okay percentage means out of 100 rate percent rate percent means the interest to be paid on 100 rupees the interest to be paid on 100 rupees for a specific period of time specific period of time now 
there is a formula for simple interest that is SI simple interest equals to P principal R rate percent or rate of interest T time period upon 100. This is a simple interest formula. And now interest formula amount. Amount equals to principal plus simple interest. That means here amount means the total amount after certain specific period that time period was completed when we are paying the amount back to the borrower to whom we had taken the amount as a principal that extra amount that we will pay the extra amount is your interest and principal that what amount that you had taken from the borrower okay that is principal plus simple interest now we will solve examples example 1 if p equals to that means principal equals to 1000 rupees rate of interest r equals to 10 percentage time period is 4 years find si and amount okay now solution principal is whatever the given that we have to write down first principal is 1000 rupees rate of interest is 10 percentage now time period is 4 years now simple interest si p r t upon 100 so p is 1000 r is 10 percentage Time period is 4 upon 100, 2 zeros, 2 zeros cut, 10 into 10, 100, 100 into 4, 400 rupees. Okay, 400 rupees is the interest. Now, we have to find out amount. There is a formula to find out amount, P plus SI. P is 1000 rupees and interest is 400. So, what was the amount? 1400 rupees. If when we are paying back the amount, how much we have to pay? 1400 rupees we have to pay. Understood? Now, second example. Find the SI and the amount for 750 rupees at 6 percentage per annum for three years, four months. Solution. Here, what was the given information that we have to write first? What was the um, uh, principal? 750 rupees. Rate of interest 6 percentage. And time period 3 years 4 months. Here both years and months are combinedly given. So 
we have to convert the years and months into complete years so how we will convert this years and months into years so this three years plus four months that you have to convert into years that is four upon twelve because one year equals to twelve months so four ones are four threes are so three plus one upon three take the lcm of one and three then it should be 10 upon 3 years.